You know, having two cats of the same color and the least photogenic color of them all, at least for video's sake, which is black, they just kind of oftentimes just kind of merge into one sort of black cat-like creature with multiple legs and arms. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Now you won't do it. Yeah, we're kind of like that. I can't tell where one cat starts and the other cat ends. Just this crazy mass of fur and tongues and tails and paws. So again, it was 40 years ago today that um, there you do something cute. But that the um, Apollo 11 lunar mission took off from Cape Canaveral. Now there's a very important personal mythology that exists about me that existed that uh, was dr dramatically debunked in a sort of odd way which I'll tell you about now. now. Why would I tell you this? This is like personal family stuff that maybe might not be appropriate to be sharing on the internet. I was thinking that, but at the same time I was thinking, you know what? The little personal mythologies of the McKenna family uh, in regards to something like this is actually rather minor. Um, when looked upon in, in, in the perspective of the larger world. And that's what I'm presenting. So, the story of my middle name. You see, my middle name is Apollo. Best part of my name, in my opinion. It's cool, Apollo. And I was told that it was, you know, about, it was from the Apollo moon landings, which it is. It was named after the lunar module. Look, Barry's doing something cute. Okay. But, it was decided that on this night, no, not this night, this night, three days from now, that I would, that it is, when they landed on the moon in 1969, that this would be a good time to bring a new life into the world. My, my folks were, you know, social progressives and were even trying to decide whether to have one or two kids to expand the world's population or not. And um, they thought that, you know, the night they landed on the moon, yes, there's hope for humanity. We can do this. 